Senate will come to order. Will all members, staff, and guests in the gallery please rise and remain standing following the invocation for the Pledge of Allegiance. Today's invocation will be given by Pastor Scott Sessler of Emanuel Lutheran Church of Livonia, Michigan. The pastor is the guest of the senator from the 7th District, the Honorable Senator Patrick Kolbeck. Good morning, everyone. It's, it's a great honor to be here um, with you this morning. Uh, when I was asked to do this, uh, a couple of parameters I was given was I only had one to two minutes and I wasn't allowed to say anything controversial. And I thought, well, that's hard for any pastor to do, uh, to be brief and not to say something controversial. So I started thinking about that and then I was reminded of, um, of a book I read one time uh, by uh, a writer called Jim Wallace, who was a uh, evangelical pastor and he wrote a book called God's Politics. And in there he talks about um, one of the ways that we can come together um, across denominational lines, uh, across party lines, and that is in service to others. And I found that true in my own experience, that when there is a need, um, people tend to come together um, to meet that need no matter what their backgrounds are. We saw that in 9-11. In um, I've seen that recently in my own congregation where a young lady um, had a brain aneurysm and almost died and, and all the people just came out together and rallied around and supported this person and now she's on the road um, to recovery. And so the words that I give you today are from the Gospel of John uh, where Jesus is talking and he says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me, just as the Father know, knows me and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold, and I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd, and for this reason the Father loves me because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own accord. I have the power to lay it down. I have the power to take it up again. I have received this command from my Father. As a fellow servant with you in our, in our communities, I believe that really my main role is to be a shepherd. I'm called to know the voice of my people. I'm called to know their, their wants and desires. And then I'm called to act on behalf of those things. Now, I was a shepherd by trade. I grew up raising sheep, and I could tell you more about sheep than you ever want to know. But one thing that you do learn about sheep is that you cannot let sheep to themselves. If you let sheep do whatever they want, they will do themselves in. But if you provide proper guidance and instruction and care and love for them, um, lots of great things can happen. And that's really what I believe our role is, um, both as a pastor and in your role in civil service, is we're called to be shepherds. We're called to know about our people. We're called to hear their voices. And then we're called to bring guidance and peace um, into their lives. It doesn't mean that we will always agree. And it doesn't mean we'll always see things the same way. And I think that's okay. I think diversity of thought and opinion is actually a good thing. It keeps us honest. It keeps us moving forward. It keeps us fresh and sharp. Um, but in the midst of that, God calls us to be shepherds, to care for the people and to, uh, to provide the guidance that brings um, life and peace. So I would like to pray for you this morning. Good and gracious God, we give you thanks for this another beautiful day. And we give you thanks for the wonderful model you gave us in being a shepherd in Jesus. As he was willing to look beyond himself to others and bring help and healing and peace, so use us to do the same in our communities and in this state. May all that we do and say bring glory to you and bring love and grace to your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Again, I thank you very much and God's blessings to you all. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. 